Hey, this is Josh, and we're going to continue our playthrough of Pillars of Eternity. Also, Guppy Fighter. That's what I go by on the internet. Let's see. Okay. This time, I have my phone out so I can keep up with the chat while playing. So that should be cool. Perception affects a character's chance to cause interrupt on attacks and contributes to deflection reflex. Was that? Khalees, what was that? A Buick. Had to be. Then we're lucky to be alive. Oh, I wonder what a Buick is. And we're the only ones. We can't stay here. There could be another collapse. We're not getting out that way anyway. Let's get further inside. Hmm, alright. I have Hyoden. Kaliska and me and my cool right. wolf. A lower level, the ruin has blocked off by rubble. All right. That should be far enough. <sighs> but what now? Mm, I don't know. We look for another way out. Storm has to die sometime. You don't seem too upset about this. Maybe you just don't know me enough to know what upset looks like. And maybe I've seen worse too. Seen, seen worse and kept on walking because there's nothing else to be done. And there's other people who you care about who still need you. Who attacked us? Hut dwellers. What well, happened out there? Windstorm of a kind. They only get in. Okay, perfect. The glam found us that we trespass in the ruins. I don't believe that. But as much as the fangs are hot heads, glam fans don't attack without being provoked. Either way, they saw something and got the wrong idea, or... What about everyone else in our caravan? The wheels got a hold of them now. She looks up. God grants them better luck in our next life. Let's get going. Let's check out the map. Okay, it doesn't matter which way we go, I don't think. Wonder who was here. Yep. Let's see if they left anything useful behind. All right, for sure, man. For sure. That's it. Keep walking. Let's see. This looks like a useful room. A trembling, sickly creature emerges from the dark, clutching a spear, knobbly elbows, thin ribs. Show through its scaly flesh, but you recognize it as a desert. It watches you cautiously, breathing its ragged sighs. It's okay, I won't hurt you. I'll raise your arms and stand still. Slowly back away. We'll deal with that later. He'll probably attack. Okay. Those tiles look suspicious. Yeah, no Let's shit. Yeah, those tiles look really symbol. suspicious. I'm pretty sure I saw it on one of the tiles back there. Which symbol? A three part symbol is inscribed on this. It could be lit if you had use your light to light the brazier. Now let's see what happened. So those three went out. So we gotta construct a path. Not quite there yet. Nope. Almost have a path. Let's just let them all. So we have a path, it looks like. I want to check this out, though. Relief. Book. 
tattered journal. Let's just take it all. And I'm going to look through my journal. Alright, quest. Journal. No, no, it's an inventory. My bad. My bad. Let's read this brand new book. This small folio is torn in several places and blood is soaked into several of the sheets. One later entry is still legible, however. I can't believe my luck. A few rounds of dice and I've got my hands on a genuine Anguithin artifact. Fellow who had it said there was pretty nothing. As far as he's concerned, he's not willing to go digging in some ruins. But if you write, this gym is leading to a hidden treasure and that's worth sneaking past a few painted elves. So there's something here. Hammer and chisel. Same as my bow. That's a mace. Okay. No, Wait. neither. Do you hear that? No, I don't. Let's go back. Hmm? Sure. Fresh air in here. I think we found an exit. Sounds like the storm passed, too. What you need? <laughs> Retard. No, 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 no. Hmm? So dumb. What you need? <sighs> oh my god. How can I help? Whatever. Whatever, man. Wait, is that the exit? I don't want to go to the exit yet, I don't think. Huh? I'm just going to check it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone, let's just beat the shit out of this snake. <laughs> These snakes are probably not shit. Anything useful here? Oh, that room's still something. I could scout ahead, see what's around the corner. I don't want to go here yet. Fast mode activated. Okay. Huh? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Everyone, let's stand here. Huh? Mm hmm. I gotta get mm -hmm. these guys one across at a time because they're dumb. Mm -hmm. Don't want to kill my dudes. Huh? Alright. Mm hmm. Let's see what's up here. The mural must be aging, yet the colors are still bright and vivid. More stuff. Okay, lesser black ooze. Lesser black ooze. That implies there's bigger black ooze. There's only two of them. So it's just, cool. just all beat the shit out of this one black ooze. Only let's switch this black ooze. Take them down. Nice. And they dropped loot. They dropped ooze plaza. Plasma. See what this says. What's that muck on the wall? Use your water skin to clear off the ooze. Place a gem in the eye socket. The floor begins to rumble. Combat starting. I don't see anything fighting. Oh, there it is. Everyone attack that thing. Everything yeah. has been pretty good so far. More plasma. Right. Huh? Mm-hmm. Thing. Let's see. Minor cloak of protection. Uh, protection. Nice. Take all. Inventory. 
Yeah, this is for me. I'm the main character. I get a cape. That's what I get for exploring. You get the cool new stuff. I would like to see what's in this area that he died over, and that's a thing. Oh, he just attacked me. I didn't want to kill it. It seemed pretty peaceful. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Let's see. A scolder whelp. Defen I don't know shit about scolder whelps. Badly injured. It's not very strong though. A crack runs along this wall from floor to ceiling. A light must of a light gust of air passes through it. Use a hammer and chisel to weaken the wall. You set the work the cracks lengthen, lengthen and widen with your efforts, but the process is more taxing than, than you'd expect. Sweat beats your forehead and your muscles begin to ache. Continue, continue chiseling at the wall. After several long moments, you begin to see the light on the other side with one final tap. Several blocks of stone shift, then tumble to loose, and clearing a gap just wide enough to pass through. Cool. Critical fatigue. Critical fatigue. Well, you know, not much I can... Maybe I can set up camp here. Yeah, these guys are weak anyway, so it doesn't matter. My character's fatigued as well. What is in here? Map. Okay, looks like it just connects everything else. Let's use our camp. Don't want to be critically fatigued as I play this. Chat. No one's in here chatting. That's sad. No one cares about Pillars of Eternity. No one. Another spider to kill. Kill the small spider, Take them down. and then deal with the big spider. Everyone get him! Yeah. Sure. Okay, cool. Uh, did we cover this whole area? It looks like we did. Let me just get another drink real quick. New map discovered. 30 experience game. Oof. Ah. Let's see what's going down here. Old Robin Man. Four fingers stand silhouetted before an otherworldly apparatus and an ancient structure of chiseled algebra and meta metallic veins, inscrutable and ominous, and looming like a silent observer. Standing motionless in their midst is what ha appears to be a human body, colorless as stone or ash. The other figures gaze upon in what might be contemplation. From your vantage point, you are well obscured from their view. The face of one figure is distantly visible, framed by long tendrils of oily gray hair tinged dark at the ends and a thick beard that seems too obscure to all trace of emo emotions. His faded robes are embroidered with runic language unlike anything you've ever seen, and his head is crowned with a strange black headdress, with two protrusions jutting out, one on either side like the wings of some profane and malevolent creature. Oathbinder bear witness, and see this man has kept his word true to his last breath, full to his blood's last drop. Guide his soul, queen that was, and regard it among your favored. Let his life by the key be his confession. Let his death by the key be his 
absolution. May he, your brother has oh, done bad. his part, and you have seen the power of his contribution. I will accept no further hesitation from the rest of you. In the sight of the queen it was, will you fulfill the oath? Will you take your place beside your brother in the endless esteem of her memory that is without flaw? Step forth and be assured of the great worth of your life's course. Stuff's going down. I refresh the page. Is anyone chatting? It says two people are watching. I have my phone not go in the lock mode so I can keep up. Is there an option for that? I don't see one. For an instant, the apparatus goes quiet and the air is still. Then all at once it erupts with a concussive surge. Light floods your vision and you are knocked to the ground. Your head snaps back as you land and pain wells into the back of your skull, washing your last thoughts away into the black unconscious void. You open your eyes to a different place, another time, you stand in a circular room, grand and domed, its walls lined with hadra and trimmed with copper. The style is ancient, but the chamber is unweathered. This far end of a great pillar of hadra pieces, the floor from below like a ragged spike, its shimmering texture giving the illusion of boundless depth. Encircling the pillar is an apparatus much like the one you have seen, but the immense multifaceted and intertwined, the work perhaps of a prodigious- Oh, hey Swift Slacker. Encircling the pillar is an apparatus much like the one you've seen, but immense and multifaceted and intertwined, the work perhaps of a prodi prodigious but fevered mind. Your thoughts and yours are not yours, and they seem to exist before you think them, and they're all questions, pressing questions, struggling questions, questions that must be answered, or, or, at the base of the pillar now you see a man with a thick gray beard in the ceremonial robe. His oily hair tucked beneath a black cowl and a strange ornamental headdress. You know this man, you're, you're walking towards him now at a pace that is hurried, while trying not to appear so. You have something you want to ask him, one question above all, and the question spins madly in your mind. Cool. Oh shit, the characters are dead. New fella, you awake to find your malaise is broken only to be replaced with something far more concerning. Faint whispers are audible at the edge of your hearing, like a ringing in your ears that does not subside. Movement flits through your peripheries, but when you turn to look away, you see no sign of whatever it was. You find your gaze regularly darting this way and that, an involuntary paranoid tick. If this is a sickness, it may be dangerous to go without treatment for long. The figures at the machine stand frozen in place, fresh and blood replaced by cinders and ash. The man who led them is nowhere to be seen. But in the Kaliska lie bloody on the uneven cobble, their bodies twisted unnaturally in death. You are alone and far from help. Gilded Veil may be your best hope at receiving treatment before things get worse. Do I even have enough stuff in my bag to grab all their stuff? Yeah, move now. Inventory. Let's see what there ha isn't. Yeah, there's a chest thing, right? I can just stash it in here. Stash. I'm an archer, so this is all cell stuff. So it's gonna be a quick way. Maybe control. No. Uh. I guess I'll drag for now. <laughs> as awful as that is. Drag. Light armor. No, nah, that's going to be sold too. Got to sell this. Keep the lock picks. Hunting bow goes away. Hide armor goes away. Obviously, need to keep the beer. Alright, cool. Oh, I leveled up too. Me and Coda. Points to advance. One. Survival, stealth. I don't even know if I'm gonna use stealth that much, to be honest. Since I'm wonderless, the la athletic seems cool. My combat fatigue is much better. 
mechanics up. That seems useful. Mechanics and athletics. Ooh, now I get the resilient convent. Let's see. The Rangers Animal Companion games and Merciless Companion. Passive. Mmm. I don't actually have any points in this. No, I don't. No, wait, 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 wait. Let's do vicious companion. Cool. Done. Awesome. Hmm. Sure. Sure. The camera is leading me this way. Vessel flesh. Vessel flesh. That's really gross. The massive structure is formed of stone, outer, and copper covered in strange glyphs. The air around it vibrates with an unusual energy. Grab. Ah, oh shit, come on. Vessel flesh. We gotta pick up all these berries, man. Should we, okay, Veil Wood is the first stop. Except. Oh, Ooh. Ready to sleep like the dead. Oh, Pillars of Eternity is a uh, game. It's an art. It's, uh, it's like Baldur's Gate. Let's see where I am. Map. Middle of nowhere. You gotta go through this little pass. There's probably enemies. I don't want to fight anything right now. Oh, there's a ghost. Gotta pick this up. I don't even know what I need this for. I'm gonna pick up everything just in case. Shattered pieces of crate are strewn across. That means uh, the bad guys here. Yep. My companion's better. My wolf's better than the young wolf. If there's a young wolf, that must mean there's a bigger wolf nearby. Gotta go pick up these mushrooms. Oh, no, those are settler arrows. Yeah, these are dead bodies. That means these guys, these guys got killed by a bunch of wolves. Scroll of Tanglefoot. Requires two lore, camping supplies. Alright, cool. All useful. I can't get the Gilded Veil from here. Okay, so. Let's go this way. Who are you? Yo, dog. Welcome. This man appears to be hurriedly dismantling his camp in quick, jerky movements. He looks up as you approach, his expression tense and drawn. Greetings, he says a little breathless. On your way south, is it? Hmm. Our caravan was attacked. I've been trying to get the Gilded Veil. Never mind the woods or strange machine in the room. Uh. I'm only passing through. I meant to reach Gilded Veil. You're headed the right way. Shouldn't be too much further. There's no missing it if you keep the road. But you'll want to keep clear of this place after that. I were. We were just attacked. And with the fear, me and a friend of mine, we came out here to hunt some deer. Came up on a bear and said, great monstrous thing and pearly. He didn't make it. Shakes his head. I don't know. I'll tell his wife. What happened to your friend? We didn't see it coming. We were following a stag, pearly. He saw something in the brambles and he went tearing off after it. We all but stumbled into the cave. Poor pearly didn't stand a chance. The bear was on top of him before he knew what was happening. The beast will take what they will, I suppose. And this time, Gollowin's favor fell upon the bear. Where did you find this bear? In a cave a ways up, he turns. I wouldn't seek it out if, you, if I were you. It was a great brute of a beast. Would hate to hear that it took another life. Who are you? Name's Norton. Born, born and raised in Gilded Vale. Haven't had a spot of luck since. His face was luckier than Pearl, I suppose. Farewell. 
Uh, I want to go check out the cave. Maybe this is a cool bear. Wait, where do you say the uh, the bear is? Quest. Build a veil. Cast. Uh, I guess there's nothing on this. I'm gonna create a note. Create a note. Bear attack. Pearly find bear. Accept. Okay. Yeah. Now I'll go to Gilly Bear. Bear attack Pearly. I'll get revenge for Pearly. No, I won't. I like the bear. If I can. Strike a deal with the bear. That's the ultimate. That's the goal here. Ooh, Gilded Veil looks dark. Mm. There's people right over there. Oh my god. Whew. This is not a fun place. It doesn't look that great. You must be one of the new settlers. Welcome to Gilded Vale. You'll be pleased to know that we've had some recent vacancies here. I feel at home already. Of course, we'll need to make some inquiries first. The inestimable Lord Radric VII has taken great pains to insulate our town from Widewind's legacy. Have you ever conceived a hollow-born child? What are you talking about? An infant born without a soul, of course. Lord Raderick has made it his first priority to eliminate this scourge from our village. Never had a kid. I should warn you, stranger. Here in Gilded Vale, we have a special place for dissidents, I don't like this charlatans, town. and those who would hide a curse in our midst. His lordship's wife is with child and due any day now. Without his approval, I shan't be able to find you a permanent settlement. It will have to wait until after the birth. We can continue our interview then, after the bell tolls from Radric's hold to signal my lord's new heir. That tree over there. <clears throat> I've always been searching for a cure. He's been beset with frauds and opportunists. I would not be honest with this guy. I'm gonna lie to him. I see. Lord Rydrick decrees my, may seem strict at times, but he has our best interests at heart. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ask. It's important that everyone in Gilded Vale understands this. I've been feeling strange ever since a close call with Vale. Is there someone in town who, could, who you could help? Whatever you are. Problem. It sounds like a matter for an animancer. However, the only animancer in Gilded Vale isn't in any condition to. He speak. got lynched, huh? Consider yourself fortunate. After she failed Lord Radric, we saw to it that she wouldn't profit from the misplaced trust of others. A bad cure is often worse than none at all. But if you're set on finding a bottle of goodbye out of. Fuck that guy. Listen! Two tolls. Let that be the last. One more toll. Three. Gods have mercy. For whom the bell tolls. It seems your arrival is ill-timed. Shit. Three bells toll only for the death of a Radric. I fear Lord Radric's heir is lost, or else Hollowborn, and so lost all the same. You should tread carefully. Circumstances have changed a great deal. Uh, does this affect the Lord's offer to new settlers? I mean, I can be sure of nothing right now. I advise you to get some rest. The inn or a stable for all I care. Find me afterwards. I'll know more soon enough. Farewell. I don't have time for this shit. My character's passive aggressive. I ain't gonna. Let's see. Editor. Oh, I saw some people over here. Yo, guys! As you reach out for the soul. 
You see a small group of people gathered around the ruins of a house. The destruction continues out from the single dwelling through the entire village. Not a single building still stands. Rubble is scattered everywhere. One of the men in group leans over something in the debris. It is this man younger, barely more than a boy? The man reaches out and shakes the boy by the shoulder. The boy makes no sound that doesn't respond to the man's disturbance. The man looks up at the other members of the group and shrugs, standing to rejoin his friends. The boy suddenly sits up, eyes wide, and scrambles backwards away from the group. Looking around in horror, the group more moved towards him in unison, eliciting a yelp from the boy who tries to move further away. A woman in the group puts out her hand, stopping the rest. She turns him to reproach. Oh, fuck, I don't care about this. She holds out a hand to him, looks at it, seems confused by offer, then hesitantly reaches out. She takes her Cool. What about you? Nah, I ain't reaching out for souls anymore. That seems like totally useless. Unless it's not. Eh, let's see what's in this door. Yo, a cat? Nice. Can't talk to the cat. Finn Lafayette. A dry wooden woman is standing in front of the fireplace, humming a quiet tune to herself, or perhaps to her unborn child, for she is clearly quite pregnant. She turns her head slightly as you enter. I like that they told us that she's clearly quite pregnant because her character doesn't look pregnant Good at all. Good day to you. Thought I'd get the little, no, no, you know what, nice cat. I just arrived in Gilded Vale, thought I'd get to know all the locals. Uh, you knew Odama? Well, no more than most here, I'd say. He doesn't usually come by this way, but they know, they say he's a reliable old fellow. Why do you say new? Uh, I'm sorry, but the caravan was attacked. I was the only one to survive. Uh, I knew I told her it was a dangerous path to take. Kaliska was always so certain she could take on any danger. Oh, my poor sister. I'm sorry, stranger. I can't believe she's gone. Oh. Kaliska mentioned that she thought you needed help. So perhaps I can provide some assistance. Afra looks at you with some surprise before dabbling at her nose with a sleeve. That's kind of you to offer, but I don't know if I could impose, impose this on you. It's not a small favor. I'm worried about the baby, about the legacy. I, I told Kaliska as much as I could, but all I know is that for a long time, every child born in Gilded Vale has been soulless, empty. Yeah, I, Kaliska was talking about how her sister is the best of her family. The most perfect person ever. So, out of respect for the dead, I'm going to help Afra. It's happened to so many mothers, and Lord Drydrick has exiled all of them, calling in Plunder the son of the gods' his favor, she sniffs. With my hot horse gone, I don't know how I'd manage if I lost my home, too. Cold, gold packed knights, kind way wayfarers. Uh. I'll find your anger for you. Here, I'll give you a coin to pay her with. You need to trouble yourself with that. I think it's a drink she fashions out of. Well, I'm not sure, but it shouldn't be too much of a burden to carry back. Nice. Anslog's compass is what we call the lagoon to the south. You'll have to cross the wilds, wilds to get there. That's what keeps me from trying it myself. She claps her hands together. Thank you for, thank you again, truly. You'll be saving us both. She sets a hand on her stomach, smiling through her tears. Is there a time limit on this? I don't think so. I'm definitely going to do this mission. No, no, don't take anything. That was red. I'm not against stealing, but I'm not going to steal from a widower with a child that may or may not be soulless. Nameless villager. Let's check the map out. Okay, let's see. The Black Hound Inn, a law, temple, Ingrid's house. Let's go here. Gonna pick up some quests and start some shit. I need to get some companion. I bet there's a companion here. Yo! This man and woman appear to have been in a deep conversation. Working at closing two bulging satchels, they move to embrace until the woman notices you approach and pauses. Her smile falters a little bit. How do you do? 
She looks to her companion, brows furrowing with confusion. Do you know this woman, Nothen? Yes, I think we met in Valewood. I warned her about the bear. He inclines his head. Glad to see you made it. Was there something else you wanted? You two are in good spirits for people who just lost a friend. I that's some kind of you to say. I'm grieving my husband in my fashion. I could not convince him to leave Gilded Vale before this happened. Is there anything you can tell me about Gilded Vale? Only that you'll want to be moving on as soon as you can. You'll have seen the tree, I imagine, but the root, the rock goes deeper. If you were looking for work, I'd say you have a better chance of it elsewhere. You two seem to be in a hurry. Yes, I imagine so. We're packing for a trip, actually. I've been meaning to visit the Vines Bay, and... Well, in truth, I think I've had my fill of this town. Hail and well met. How do you do? Uh, this town is rotten to the core, man. That guy got set up. Right click for details. This is just history. Okay, cool. I'm gonna take it, though. Yeah, this this guy, he's uh he's fucked up. There was a trap there, man. Somebody got set the fuck up. Map. Let's see. Edder. Yeah, let's go to Edder now. Oh, this looks like a That looks like a thing to do later. Road south. Uh, black windmill. Let's go to the windmill. I bet there's someone cool in the windmill. Fast mode. Do you have a name, villager? Nope. Ooh, stuff's happening. We know there's more to grain. We know there's more grain in there, Trumbull. We won't settle for scraps while you grow fat on our crops. The first of you drunkards come through that door get shot between the eyes. Gods hear me, Swinner. I'll put you down like a dog. Come away for now, lads, but we'll back, Trumbull, and we'll have fair prices or by the flame we'll have a reckoning. Against the grain. He's probably not withholding, but we'll see. I'm gonna go do some investigating. An elven man stands before you, his relatively stocky build suggests- I just walked in there after he threatened to shoot them. Hold on, I'm not here to hurt anyone. Who are you? Swerner is roping foreigners into this little crusade now. Mmm, who's Swerner? The dwarf, the one standing there spreading lies among the villagers. Bastard's been here for decades and he hasn't gotten any kinder with me. My name is Lufella. I've only just arrived in Gilded Vale. You picked a bad time to come visit in Gilded Vale. Had all its shrine scrapped off, just a big dunk heap now. It's one of thinks he's the king of it. And they're all of them mad. What is all that ruckus outside? Where is it again? Sworn has worshipped them up into a froth. Going on about the grain stores, claims I've hidden away most of it. All I do with the grain is sell it. I can't create it out of thin air, and I can't hand it out for free. I pay the farmers for the crops they bring in, and I sell what comes out of the mill. And most of it goes back to the Black Hound on the west side of town for ale and swinner, and his lot sure don't mind that part. You take a look at the fields of, on the way in the town, the crops blight in, and most of what I'm getting from the farmers. Tremble gestured to the sacks and containers. It's gone off rotted, though. Seems like a pretty clean story for a messy situation. It's not, he pauses. Look, Twin has always been a rotten bastard with stores so limited. Maybe I save the good stuff for people who deserve it. Offer, for instance. She's expecting a child. Should I let her serve instead? Do the villagers know about the grain supply? Some of uh, some they didn't keep her for instance. It's better not to worry anyone. I'll be trading for supplies soon enough. If we can keep things calm until then, we'll be in the clear. The innkeeper? Tremble winces. I wouldn't drink the ale, is all I'm saying. Maybe I ought to go have a good talk with Swinner, then. 
The Miller is all but sagged with relief. I'd be grateful if you did it. He won't listen to it, me, anyone, but maybe you'll have better luck. Tell him what. Hand me one, too. There we go. I've been streaming, so you know I can't just leave this this area. I feel bad for anyone watching. I don't. People watching me, they get You're the annoying. benefit of watching me. I wouldn't want to watch you. Tell them we're all having a hard time of it, and we'll all have to make some sacrifices. Shut my door, please. Right. We'll be in your debt for it if you can't convince if you can convince them. She didn't shut my door. A rancid stench rises from this grain. It's mushy and modded with grain. Uh, grain. Oh, can't take that. Uh, so let's check the journal. Mmm. Okay. Let's go to the end. Let's go talk to this guy. I'm going to try to be a diplomat here. I want to fix this issue. Map. Where's he in at? Temple, the Black Count Inn. Got it. Oh shit! Five people watching? Nice. Love you guys. You see four people gathered by the door to the inn. Their raised voices, chopping gesture, suggest an argument reaching its climax. The first figure raises his hand for calm. His face is partially obscured by a hood, but his height and stature suggest an elf. I meant no offense. Let's put this matter to rest over a round, shall we? My treat. Hoping to soothe our pride with a few Adira coppers, eh? We don't need your coin. Say nothing. Everyone calm down. Whatever this is about, I'm sure it's an overreaction. One of the men glares at the hooded elf. His eyes are red from drink, but his gaze is focused. We're a humble folk, but we're no fools. Not like he thinks, mocking us while he shelters in our village. We don't take to that kind of talk from foreigners. Yeah, I can see the chat sometimes. It lags on my phone, though. We don't take to that kind of talk from the foreigners, especially not Iredrins. Go on. Say it again. I'm itching for an excuse. The second man thrusts his chin at the elf. Fire you're itching for the kindling touch of your sister, you cocksfeather! <laughs> Multiple personality disorder. I'll cut that barrel looking tongue out of your head! This is a misunderstanding! I didn't say whatever it is you think I said. We've nigh quarrel. That's where you're wrong. Back down, all of you. This is absurd. No one gives us orders, foreigner. It sounds suspiciously like you're defending him. Oh, whatever. <laughs> hey, let's see what loot they dropped. Not quite how I hope to get to know the neighbors. Thank you for your timely assistance with that. Awkward situation. You mean for slaughtering them? Yeah, you're welcome. Well, that is one way of putting it. He strains with his hood. I suppose Gosh, introductions yeah. are in order after that little fiasco. Alof Corvus, sir, at your service. How'd you manage to get stuck out here? This is something of a long story. Well, I'm a wizard by training, and an adventurer by necessity. I was born in the Seafood. Part of the mainland of the Adir Empire, and both of my parents served the nobility, which afforded me an education for which I am grateful. However, and how exactly did you come to be here? I was traveling with a caravan, but we were separated near some ruins. In Gwythan ruins? Well, those can be dangerous places during the best of times, which these are not. And half the locals would arrest you for trespassing, and the rest would kill you outright. I'm curious. What exactly did you find there? Uh, nothing. The woman must have her secrets very well. What are you doing in Guildvale? An excellent question. I came looking for fresh air and cheap land. Instead, the magistrate gave me directions to the inn and a story about the local lord's expectant wife. But I take it that's a familiar tale. Mm-hmm. 
I've been experiencing strange things of late. I'm looking for an expert on souls. Indeed. The local lord has searched far and wide for similar specialists. He has rid himself of them almost as desperately. How did you manage to cross those three drunks? I'm afraid that was a matter of misunderstandings and mistranslations. It doesn't help that people in these parts remember their war with Adir like it was yesterday. Adir. You did tell that one man to go fuck his sister. Ah, that happens. As I try to tell them, they misheard me. Happens all too easily after a few pints, and the accent doesn't help. I heard the same thing. I should speak more clearly next time. I apologize. You don't exactly look like a settler. Begging your pardon, but neither do you. Yet, circumstances can find a person in the strangest of places. I should get going. As should I, given recent events. It's just as well. I've had enough of the watered wine and lumpy beds at the inn. They say even the owner tired of the place. Just up and left one day. It explains quite a lot about the upkeep. Perhaps I could join you. I could use a change of scenery, and I find it's better to travel in numbers. So do I. Let's go. Excellent. Then. Nice. I shall follow you. I get the multiple personality disorder a lot. And another elf. Let's see what these dead guys have. Simple clothing, gold, nice. Uh, let's go to the inn now. Yeah, I don't really, my, my character doesn't really care about people. I care more about animals and other elves. What's, what's up with Pasco? How do you do? Would you like a drink? One room, we have two available at the moment. I'm afraid we can't offer much of a good stuff. Let's see. Mm, I could use some reliable help. Do you know anyone looking for work? Let me see what I have to work with. I can buy an adventurer. Not exactly my style, though. Hello. So, not really interested. Well, let's say what it said about the Black Hound. Uh, I skimmed that. Good day, stranger. I'd like to know more about the Black Hound. Oh, it's just a building. I don't really care then. This is probably not an important area. Wait. I can. Yeah, I can just take this. There's Swainer. Swainer. Well met, friend. Don't know who you are, and I don't much care. Keep walking. We're we're not here to chat with foreigners. Careful. Looks like they're cut from the same cloth as those rowdies who attacked me. He wrinkles. Smells like it too. I saw you outside the mill. What was that about? Well, someone fancies themselves a meddler. What's that about? It's about Tremble thinking he's the king of town on account of he's got the mill to his name. The dwarf jowls quiver with rage. It's all about him barely giving us anything for the wheat we bring him in, and then cutting our purses when we need to buy grain. It's about farmers going hungry while some bastards get rich off their crops. Mmm. My character's wanderlust, elf, uh, not really care much about money, just knows it's a necessity. So I'm gonna buy them around the drinks. Fair enough, you bring us something to wet our throats and I might be able to fill up the trading wards. Alright, let's go buy them around the drinks, let's go settle this issue. Greetings. I'd like to buy a round for the fine fellows over there. Can we skip the payment? It's for a good cause. <sighs> nah, she didn't go for it. All right, let's go. Let's go give them. Let's go Guts give her money. Keep you. Let's go give them six CP. All right. Hello. I brought the drinks. All right. Now let's see what I can say to them. Maybe you could tell me more about what's going on. It's like I said, the miller's in charge of the grain prices. He said they're fair, but I know for a fact the folks like Offra pay half of what we do. The dwarf size, and maybe we've been going a bit rough with them. But what are we supposed to do? We can't keep paying, but we're, we're going to starve. Do you think Trouble's going to be sorry about it when we do? Maybe I could talk to Trumbull for you. Ah, you think you'll get through to him when we haven't? 
The man's thick as a peat nog, peat bog. I hear he got a soul red, found his kin used to grow some song reed trees for their Idrin lords up until they figured out their side was losing. So that's why his knees still ache to bend to do whatever lord or lady crosses the road. He'll be holed up in the mill for days, the coward. The dwarven eyes you considering, but here, if you want to give it a shot, then good luck. Well, all you want if you manage it. Let's see. Hmm. Um, now I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna talk to them again. Keep. There's no sense in threatening the miller. You'll have him like you you have him up against a wall. Maybe you could ask for some of the other other villagers for help. You're right. Things go like go on like they are. We're just gonna end up hanging from that tree out there. Tell Tremble we'll leave him be. Don't know what we'll do now with the crops failing. Haven't got another trade to speak of. Think Pasca needs a hand around the rim. Oh, cool. That worked. Drunkard. Let's see with the drunkard. He he has a unique name. Our great lord, my sister, runs out of town after the boy was born. She was the only family I had left. Not sure where she is now. Blazes, I need another drink. These people have names. Uh don't want to read their stupid diatribe about whatever. Uh, I don't need to go up there right now. There's probably just rooms. Let's go talk to what's his face now. It's cool that I got a lot. A loath. A lot. Let's see. Map. Where is the mill? There it is. Now we wait. Now we wait. Reconnecting in two seconds. Ah, I keep disconnected from the chat on my phone. Yo, Trumbull. God's keep you. I spoke to Swainer. I've convinced him to leave your family in peace. Why? That's really that's great news. I wasn't sure you'd get through to them. They're out of their minds with drink half the time. I owe you a great debt. He pulls a coin purse from his hip and pushes it toward you. Today's earnings shows my appreciation, and you can be sure I'll let everyone know that what you've done for me. Gilded Vale, moderately positive. Keep it. You're having a hard enough time. Nice. Journal. Cool. Quest, visions, and whispers. I think that's a good place to stop because uh, the next one is the mother's quest. So I'll do that next time I stream. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I will be back definitely next Friday. Not sure if I'm going to stream before Friday at 8 Eastern. But I'll probably, Tuesday is probably going to happen. So thanks for tuning in.